hello guys welcome to linux joy channel today we are going to learn about user mode command so let's get started i opened my virtual machine so first we know what is user mode user mode it's a command to change the attributes of existed users so to check the existed users in our system we have to go through this file that is you know it is cat slash etc slash basswd so here are the users Ryan, linux joy joy rambo manish tab so these are the existing users so if you want to change these users attributes we need to use user mode command first we can add some information to a particular user for suppose i am taking here linux joy so i am adding some information to the user so how to add a information user mode iphone c inverted commas so actually linux joy is a manager if you want to add his add his position to in this company in a, some company so i can add manager manage. and what is the name linux joy so check that information you can grip grip iphone capital e iphone iphone c o l o r color so information is manager right manager where i can find that slash etc slash passwd see after user id and the group id you can find his position in that company and the home directory of that particular user and the default shell so just to follow this script command at present iphone capital e is mm, and what is this iphone iphone color is means whatever the string you specified here it will show in colors so i specified the string is manager so it show in red color so that's why we use iphone iphone color so don't confuse with this script command we have separate session for this just presently follow this script command how to use this right and next you can also add an account expiry date in with using user mode command also for existing user right for that i'm taking user mode iphone e and i can give the year 2018 iphone 05 iphone 25 so the username is linux jvoy joy so check that change iphone l the username is linux joy so you can find the account expires on May 25th, 2018. This is existing user. I am changing his. Uh, I am assigning an expiry date of this user. So next, I can change the existing user's home directory also. But for that, I have to use user mode. iPhone D slash where slash ww don't confuse with this folder uh, in upcoming server configuration you will find what is this slash where slash ww it's a folder it is already existed in in operating system so user mode iphone d slash where slash ww what is the username linux joy 
so now i changed the home directory of linux j you can find the home directory of linux j here here slash home slash linux j is linux j uses home directory now i am changing this section that means that directory to be converted into this directory slash where slash www let's we are going to check that how to check same grip iphone capital e iphone iphone color and what is the string slash where slash ww and as usual where we have to find the accounts information that means user accounts information slash etc slash passwd see previously it has slash home slash linux join now it is slash where slash ww W. So this way you can change the home directory of existed user. Now I am going to change the primary group of existed user. So what is the primary group? ID Linux Joy. Oh, sorry. This is the primary group. Linux Joy is primary group. Whenever we create one user, it will create one group on his name only that linux j group is its primary group of a particular user so linux j user primary group is linux j only right now i'm going to change that so how to change that user mode before that uh, so how many groups we have going to check that cat slash etc slash gro up so here you can find these are the groups Rian Linux J account finance HR. Now I am going to change his primary directory as HR group. For that I have to use user mode iPhone G HR to Linux J. Now I changed it. Now I am going to check that information. So ID of Linux job sorry not txt see now it's primary his primary group changed as hr now i am going to add a user an existing group so i have how many users i have here like rambo manish so i am going to add so first we check the rambo id rambo idea Rambo. so this is a secondary group I can add as many groups that you want to so I'm going to add an existing user to separate group so I'm going to add Rambo to accounts group I'm not going to changing his primary group his primary group is Rambo only I'm going to add this Rambo user to accounts so that means that is other account, different account. So how to use this command user mode, hyphen capital G. Now the group name is accounts and the username is Rambo. Now it's changed. Now I'm going to check that his groups and user IDs and everything. See now the Rambo user is added to Rambo as well as accounts. So I added one particular user to an existing group. Now, now I can change one user login name also. For suppose here I have this Rambo. Now I am going to change his name as Jockey. Right? So for that I have to use this command user mode iPhone L jockey to Rambo. Now it's changed. Now check it is changed or not. For that type this command grip grip Rambo in slash etc slash pssw. 
so here the home folder of the rambo is slash home slash rambo only but the username is changed you can observe here jockey it's his username is changed as jockey now i can lock a user now if i lock the user he cannot log in so if you have to do that you have to use this user mode iphone capital l and the name is jockey see now i am going to log in su iphone jockey it's login here but actually when you are in because root has all the privileges if you log the user you don't he didn't change anything here because it has the root user has every permission so now i'm going to log in here in my command now go to command prompt check here one second jockey and the password is c a n t o s 7 it shows that login incorrect um, so because i locked that user now i am going to unlock that user user mode iphone capital u jockey Unlike the user's password result in a passwordless account, you should set your password with the user mode iPhone 2 to unlock this user's password. Okay, now we are going to check that user login here. Jockey. The password is C G N T O S 7. Login incorrect. I think I have to again assign the password to that particular user i unlocked that user but i didn't give any password to him so that means i have to give password p a s s w d jockey jockey changing password for user jockey okay uh, save send os server send os server now Login here, jockey C N T O S seven. Yes, so you can find that there are three failed login attempts since the last successful login. So after locking, unlocking the user, you have to assign the password again. So that's it. Okay, today I planned for this session to explain these commands only if you like the video please click on that like button and as well as if anybody interested to learn in CentOS 7 please share this video to them thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel to get more to get the latest videos notifications on your youtube channel thank you once again have a nice day.